Stella Giorda with a dump down by Argentina Ung. Something that Ung is so good at running into. She gets Washington State the second points. Serve from Norville. Over to Giorda once again. Tries a tip. The Halasheva got a piece of it. Imana Sanovich for Washington State. Over on Basham's serve. Boom in the middle. Radakovic lands it for the Cougs. Serves away to Timmer. Boom. A set for Radakovic. Radakovic has her second kill. Boom the serve again. It's an overpass. Timmer pounds it back down to the floor. Washington State has Grand Canyon doubled up 10 to 5. Pia Timmer comes flying in. What a dig by Thomas, but it's an overpass. And the Southpaw, Katie Ryan, terminates the point for the Cougs. 14 to 8, Washington State. All that to be said, though, this Cougar coaching staff talking to them this week, they know this is a tough draw in Grand Canyon. Really good team. But Julian Norville aces them up for the first service ace of the night. And we take a timeout here on the Palouse. The Cougars out to a roaring start hosting at home in the first round of the 2023 NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament on ESPN+. Magda Yehalashova, a big part of that 3 nothing scoring run for the Cougars. Julia Norville with the serve out of the media timeout. Amana Sanovic blocks it back off of Tatum Parrott. Magda Yehalashova was in the area as well. 16-8 Cougars. With that, we put Magda on watch two away from the Pac-12 record in blocking. Chasing Marissa Hatchett of UCLA. Hatchett who played back in the late 80s, early 90s, and Isanovich makes it a five-point scoring run for the Cougars. Norville still serving on this Cougar run. Parrott running into it. Basham got to it. Strasser was waiting on it to come down. Boom. For Yahalashava on a slide, it's tipped. And make it a six-point run for the Cougars now. Seven kills, ten swings. Asanovich has been a star in set one. Norville with the dig out at back on the swing from Ramirez. Pia Timmer. Another big swing in her Washington State career. Thomas serves. Boom. Over for Timmer. Timmer. Pause it to the back corner. Set point for Washington State. Boom. Isanovich out of the back, and she caps an outstanding opening set for WSU. Iman Isanovich leads all players with eight kills in the first set. She hit 636 in the first. The Cougars hit 600, and they run away in set number one from GCU. A tough debut into the NCAA tournament for the Lopes. They'll try to turn it around in set number two as it's all wazoo right now through one. You're watching the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament here on ESPN+. Good rally to open up the second set. Timmer sprawling for it. Isanovich already with kill number nine. Picks up right where she left off. Parrot serving to the Cougars. Nadia Halasheva. Nails it home for WSU, 2-1 Cougars. Boom, decides to set back Timmer, and this time Timmer delivers for the Cougars. Lifgren with the dig out. Boom, behind for Ryan, lefty swing. Comes back over, Ryan, second try. Pogo steps up to tie it at five for the Cougars. Over for Lifgren, Isanovic there, Timmer, and out in front of Anderson for the Cougar point. Got in and blocked Argentina Ung from that opportunity. Basham, wow, that's a heck of a pass to Timmer, and Timmer took some pace off of it, and it surprised Tatum Thomas. Mitchell for Parent, blocked down by Yehalashova.
Norville, a great serve at that, an ace. Norville has two, both Cougar aces. She's chasing on the heels of Pia Timmer. Still a little ways to go in that race, but 138 career aces now, 11 behind Timmer. Has the Cougars within one. The Sacramento, California product continues. Mitchell, Gjorda having to punch it, and Yehalashova with that ties the all-time record in the Pac-12 for blocks. For Yehalashova, that is number 756. First matchup in Pullman between Pepperdine and Dayton. This one as good as those. Boong had it pushed back. Timmer having to adjust, and she fights off a set point for the Cougars. Timmer's ninth kill. Grand Canyon has another opportunity to win the second set. Serve for Washington State is with Carly Basham, their libero. Grand Canyon trying to even things at a set apiece. Short serve, Basham nearly dumped it in there. Lifgren, tip back, Radakovich and Oong. Lifgren once again, Oong tipped it high. Basham got to it, Oong, a set for Timmer. Timmer ties it at 24. WSU fends off two set points in the second set. We'll go past 25 here in the second set. Argentina Ung before the set, she was in up at the front of the net for the Cougars, tipping two blocks. Basham another short serve. Mitchell elects to go back for Gjorda. Isanovich is under it. Pia Timmer, the hot hand in set two, puts the Cougars ahead and gives Washington State set point. Grand Canyon. A fantastic start to the second set. But Washington State taking control late. Got to win by two. Parrott sprawling to it, Radakovich. That's a big time dig. Imani Sanovich just loses her mind after putting the Cougars up 29 28. Grand Canyon a chance to go ahead. Mitchell, Timmer receives it with the hands. Yehalashova, tipped back by Strasser. And Isanovich, off blocker's hands. Isanovich has gotten hot again, was stuck at nine kills for a while. She's now got 13. 30 to 29 Cougars. But we can only hope the rest of this match continues to be as tightly contested as this. This has been fun. Julia Norville serving. Parrott couldn't get enough behind it. Isanovich, Thomas gets under another one. It's a free ball coming to Washington State. Thomas has been so important defensively. Back on a slide for Yehalashova, and she puts away set number two for the Cougars. No shortage of drama tonight. The fourth seeded Washington State Cougars take a two sets to none lead on the Grand Canyon Lopes. Carly Basham serves for the Kooks. A joust, Radakovich pushes back the smaller Mitchell. Lifgren out back, Basham got in front of Norville for it. Radakovich, point Cougars. Basham really been going with that short serve. And the Cougars block it away. Radakovich and Oom. This Washington State team this year, they had, they had this circle, this date on the 1st of December is the day that they plan to be in Pullman. And it came close down the wire in the season, but the Cougars did it. And Pia Timmer on the overpass, able to connect easily for her 14th kill, and it's a five-point lead for Washington State. The Cougars starting to sense the third set. Basham drops another short serve in. Norville and Basham got there. Oon on the recovery. 
Argentina Ung, the setter for Washington State, working into this one for Pia Timmer. That's popped up high. Here it is for Uhlenhop once again. Uhlenhop tried to tip, Radakovich covered. Timmer's turn to tip. And the Cougars are the first to 20 in set three. Lana Radakovich comes back, finds the outside of the floor. Julia Norville serving. Norville a couple aces. Yahalashova pushes it back. In the middle, it's Strasser too wide, and Washington State at home wins in the first round of the 2023 NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament, and the Cougars advance to take on the fifth seed Dayton Flyers in less than 24 hours time on this floor in Pullman. The Cougars win it in straight sets tonight, 25 to 12 in the first, a thrilling 31-29 in the second, and 25-17 in the third. For Grand Canyon, the first of what will be many NCAA tournament appearances for Washington State. It continues at home tomorrow night. A battle to go to the Sweet 16 between the Cougars and the Flyers is on deck. For our ESPN Plus crew, this is Trevor Williams saying so long tonight from Pullman, Washington. Cougars win it in three sets, the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament on ESPN Plus.